Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Griffin Rip back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the real reason why Top started the buyback promotion and everything behind it. So before we get into that, happy Thanksgiving to all you guys. Hope you guys had a great day. I'm recording this Thanksgiving night after the Vikings just beat the Patriots it's always a good day when a Boston team loses. It's always a good day, no matter what no matter what team you root for. Whenever a Boston sports team loses, it's always a good day. So not nah, keep that at that. But hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving, man. Um I did, my family did. Uh so today we're gonna talk about why Top started the buyback promotion. But before we can do that, let's try a like goal. Of 100 likes even, 100 likes on this video, that would be awesome. And guess what, guys? My merchandise is available right now. If you guys missed the uh, community tab post yesterday, I posted the community tab, or on the community tab, and I posted what the shirt looks like. The shirts and hoodies are available right now in the link in the description on bonfire.com. And what, what here's what we're going to do, guys, okay? So for everyone who purchases a shirt or a hoodie, I need you to DM me on Instagram, Grip and Rip Sports Card. It's the same logo as my YouTube, right? Show me that you bought the shirt via proof of purchase, like a, like a confirmation, like email or something like that, right? DM me that. Everyone who DMs me a proof of purchase, I will put you in a giveaway for a 2022 Tops Update Blaster Box. How about that? We'll pick the winner January 1st. So I'll give you about six weeks or so to get your shirt. If they're printed on demand, they're not going to sell out. They're not limited time. They are printed to ship. So if you guys buy a shirt, and yes, I could see how many people buy one. So if all these people start spamming proof of purchases, I'll know if people are lying or not. Because I could see on the, on the tab, I could see how many people bought a shirt. So if you guys buy a shirt, DM me proof of purchase, you'll be entered into a giveaway for an update blaster box. So if two people buy a shirt, you have a 50% chance of winning the box. That's how it works. So hopefully you guys like the shirt. I'm buying myself one. I think it's really cool. I'm not making any money off of it. It's literally just going right back to the t-shirt company who's printing, printing them and shipping them out. So hopefully you guys like them. I'm going to be buying myself probably a t-shirt and a hoodie because I always, I always wear hoodies no matter what. Unless it's like 100 degrees outside. But hope you guys like it, as do I. And more designs will be coming in the future. I just wanted to get this one out now. And more designs probably will be coming out probably right before opening day. I'm the one designing them. I am a t-shirt designer so or a graphics designer. So that's when I'll do it. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the buyback promotion. If you guys missed yesterday's video on Thanksgiving, which some of you may have because you know you spend the time with family and everything, right? I talked about this new buyback promotion, how Tops is buying back or, uh, Chrome cards, all different kinds, numbered, sepias, base cards, refractors, you name it, of Aaron Judge and Paul Goldschmidt, who are the MVPs of 2022, right? And what you could do is you could take those cards to a participating local card store. Not every card store is going to do this. And you can get in-store credit for those cards. I'm going to explain to you guys today, and this should be common knowledge to most of you guys who've been watching my channel now for months, why they did this. And they claim, right, that this is for Small Business Saturday. So in case you guys didn't know, the first Saturday after Thanksgiving is always Small Business Saturday where you're supposed to support your local small businesses after you go shopping the day before. Because most people on Friday today are going to big corporation companies like like let's say if you go to a mall or you go to a walmart you go to a target best buy game stops things like that small business saturday is for the opposite you're supposed to go to your local card stores your local toy stores uh you know things like that okay they claim now uh, of course this this does help the business like the local card store businesses i'm not saying it doesn't but what they claim is this helps Small businesses, and this is for small businesses, right? Which I call BS. The reason they're doing this, right? And a lot of people agreed with me in the comments section yesterday, and I talked about this. They are only doing this to increase sales of 2022 Topps Chrome Retail. Because you know why? 
everywhere I go, and I'm sure most of you guys can agree with this as well, it just sits everywhere you go. I go to my local Walmart and multiple other Walmarts on a weekly basis. I check, I go to at least four different Walmarts on a weekly basis, right? All different directions, north, east, south, and west, okay? There's a Walmart in every direction where I live. I go to every single one on a weekly basis, probably, definitely once, maybe sometimes twice, if I have the time to. And every time I go, I always see 2022 Topps Chrome Mega Boxes and Blaster Boxes sitting on the shelves, no matter what time of the week it is, okay? The only reason they're doing this, and they've never done this in years past, because they didn't screw up as badly as they did this year with the whole short print de debacle, all right? The only reason they're doing this is to inflate numbers of Chrome. So that way, they didn't have to admit defeat and put it on clearance. Because guess what? If it was going to sit there for more, like a little more time probably, probably I'd have to guess right after Christmas, if 2022 Topps Chrome sat on the shelves as it was right now until after Christmas, they would have to put it on clearance probably for half off, which would make it $15 a blaster and 30 a mega and admit defeat because they know they messed up with the whole short print thing, yada, 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 okay? And they didn't want to do that. So what do they do? They announce this promotion where you can go get these base cards, send them in your local card stores, get in-store credit. Fine. Okay, whatever. I just have a problem with this because Tops is trying to hide something. I don't know what it is. I just have an eerie feeling that they're trying to like make these base cards and these parallels of these two guys short prints for some reason. Now, I don't know the print run of Chrome. I don't know if that was ever even figured out by anybody. But I think they're trying to limit the market on these cards for some reason to try to make up for how they didn't include the other short prints in the original set, like the Julio, the J-Rod, and the Bobby Witt, or the Julio, the Torkelson, and the Bobby Witt, right? I don't know. I don't know. I, I think they're trying to do this. And the funny thing is, is now the market's just completely screwed up, right? You have people, which I find this hilarious. You have people on these Facebook marketplace or these Facebook trading card groups, all the posts, I, I've seen so many posts selling my Chrome Goldies and my Chrome Judges, and they want like $30 per base card. And keep in mind, you get $20 in-store credit per base card, right? So these people want $30 for an Aaron Judge card. And to keep in mind, I said this in yesterday's video, I literally checked the recently sold a day before this was announced. These cards were going for $2. Now, all of a sudden, they're $25 to $30. And now, the parallels are anywhere from between $200 and to $400. Because, of course, that's the in-store credit. If it's numbered less than $100, it's $400. If it's numbered to over $100, like the $199, $299, whatever, $500, $499, whatever, it's $200. So, Topps is trying to create some sort of market manipulation with this promotion. I don't know what they're trying to do. They said they're going to put these cards to use. I made a prediction today to my brother, and he agreed with me. We think what they're going to do is they're going to have these guys sign these cards to sell them on Tops.com as a Tops.com release. Oh, get your Aaron Judge 2022 Tops Chrome autograph or something like that. Or what I thought they would do, which I brought this up yesterday, is I thought they were going to use them in active player signature series for next year or something like that or they could maybe include them in next year's chrome release as an autograph or something i don't know there is an infinite amount of possibilities they could be using these cards for we'll never know they do say they did say that they will be announcing what they're going to be doing with these cards at a later time so i guess we're just going to have to wait and see what they're using these for but you know the people and the, the real people who made out on this deal are the ones who bought into Cardinals and Yankees breaks, you know, because those people probably had tons of Goldschmidt's and tons of Judge base cards that they're going to cash out on if they really wanted to. And it's hilarious, right? I said to my brother earlier, like, imagine if you were, like, in a break with the Cardinals or the Yankees, right? And you had, like, $1,000. I saw some guy today on Facebook trying to sell his lot of Cardinals, uh, Goldschmidt, and Judge cards. He had like at least 10 of each. 
he was saying that like the in-store credit was like $1,500 or something like that. Just imagine you going into your local card store, handing the owner all those cards and getting like $1,500 in-store credit and buying like, let's say an immaculate or a, a, a box of like an immaculate or whatever high-end Topps Dynasty or something like that, right? And just imagine, now I assume, I, I can only assume Topps is paying back the owners in some way, shape or form for this. I, I would like to assume $20, like how it is. I just am interested to see why they want these cards back. Like, to here's here's what I told my brother as well. I said, the fact that they're charging $20 for a base card must mean they're doing something pretty valuable with these. And I that's why I thought, I said to my, I said to my brother today, I guarantee you they're going to use these to sell as autographed cards on the website or have the players autograph them for some other release down the line. There is no reason why Tops would be charging $20 per base card in like 40 refractor, sepias, all the other all the other parallels I can't even name. So there's got to be some reason why they want these and the fact that they're paying so much means that something like the fact that they're paying so much means that they have an incentive to use these in some way where they where they're going to make money. Because obviously, I think they're going to pay all the LCS owners, and they're not going to, you know, basically make them give so and so amount of credit and you know things like that. But someone in the comment section yesterday, I'm going to look into this. I didn't look into it yet, but he said in the fine print of that article uh, promoting this new buyback program, I guess it's up to the owner's discretion, like the LCS owner's discretion, to charge the amount per like card. I guess. So if a local card store owner really wanted to, they could charge $5 for a base card, and that's their deal. Uh, he said it's in the fine print. I have to read up on that. I, I can believe it, though, because $20, like I said, $20 for a base card seems, like, ridiculous. Like, that, that kind of seems ridiculous. So it makes me wonder what they're really going to do with these cards because, I mean, the fact that they're charging $20 per a base card... I mean, that's got to be something pretty expensive. And people have a bunch of them, so they're going to be buying a lot of them back. So there there got to be something. I, I think they're going to use them for a whole bunch of reasons. I don't think it's just for one reason alone. I think they're going to use them all different ways. We're just going to have to wait and see. Let's get to this pack of update opened. I have to get up early uh, tomorrow or today whenever you're watching this video. Going shopping all day. Going to probably spend a lot of money. Nothing on sports cards, though. I, I wanted to make a video talking about all the deals you could probably see today and maybe Cyber Monday. But the only thing I saw was Meyer had a deal I saw on Facebook where it's buy one, get one half off sports cards and trading cards like Pokemon and all that stuff. And then I saw Target had a sale. I think it ends today or tomorrow of um, Pokemon. I think they're called booster boxes. I think they're called. I think that's what they're called. So let's see what we got here. I can already tell you. This is probably just a base pack. Oh, I hate base packs. Chris Archer, huh? Worst trade in Pirates history. But uh, I thought that was Derek Jeter for a second. I legit thought that was Derek Jeter for a second. Oh, my. Jose Moran, that's a decent one. George Kirby, a decent one. Colin Moran, old pirate. Yeah, I don't think we got anything good in this pack. I don't think. There's Stephen Kwan. I'll take a Stephen Kwan. Let's see what else we got. That was uh, Diego Castillo. Okay, he's a pirate. He's pretty cool. Cool. So, to wrap up this video, I just explained to you why they are doing this promotion. It's simply just to inflate numbers for Topps Chrome and to have people buy Topps Chrome. Because it's working. Like I, like I said in yesterday's video, I went to my local Walmart on Wednesday, okay, to see as soon as they made this announcement, I mean, I was going to go to Walmart anyways on Wednesday, but... I went, right, and my Walmart had, like, 10 blasters and, like, probably about 10 or 12 mega boxes, and they're all gone, magically all gone. So people are finding out about this, and they're going to buy it all up. I'm telling you, if Topped Chrome is sitting at your stores, it won't much longer because it's going to get bought all up now because of this promotion. And that's the only reason why Topped did this, because they didn't want to admit defeat at the end of the day with how much product was sitting on the shelves and they didn't want to make it half off so guys let me know what you think merch is now live 
If you buy it, DM me a proof of purchase on my Instagram. Links in the description if you want to buy the merch. DM me proof of purchase to be entered in a blaster box giveaway of updates. So guys, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.